Hey YouTube, Tutor UK back again with another pickups and trades video. Um, did a, a trade with another good uh, YouTuber on here, um, friend Butters. Uh, I've got shit loads of pickups again from <coughs> excuse me Game Station, the 49p, uh, and a slight update. Well, say an update. Um, I don't know what's going on because it depends who you speak to in, in Game Station. They give you different stories, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll come to that uh, when, I, when I go through them games. Anyway, and then I've got a bit of a mishmash of uh, odds and sods I picked up from here, there, and everywhere. So what I'm going to uh, crack on first with the uh, trades with, with butters. Um, so we through the parcel, and uh, absolute legend we sent him through here. Um, I'd sent him some some stuff over, and I didn't expect anything for him as a studio, but I do it as a favour and whatnot. And it's very, very kindly. Um, Set me through a couple of uh, mass system games, so this is really pushing. I think I'm I'm way up, well over halfway now um, in in terms of that. Obviously, there's still some really difficult ones to get, um, but you know, keep plugging away at it. Um, I think I was speaking to uh, Marcus Xfile and uh, 2708, and and I think he's. Um, He's got a good attitude to the mass system now, and I think he's learnt from the Mega Drive. He sort of said to me, he's got to get the harder ones or the more expensive ones out of the way first. Which, you know, with hindsight, I think he, he, he wished he'd done with the Mega Drive now. So, yeah, I think that's a pretty good um, good method to take. But again, it's like anything, you've got to pick them up at the right time, and you know. And I think Ninja Bear Hook sort of said it as well, you know, when he picked up, I think recently he's, he's picked up um, the Wily Wars, and, and when he mentioned he could have had it for 30 quid and I've checked on eBay and it's going for like 500 so yeah there's there's obviously some method to the madness there um, we'll see anyway it's you know it's just going to be ongoing so if, if, I, if I drop lucky great if I don't then it, you know we'll just have to cross that bridge when we come to it but anyway the couple of games that um, Aaron sent me through Butters uh, absolutely a couple of crackers I mean the, the, this first one is absolutely I mean you know Superb! It's a superb game. Superb condition again, like all this stuff is, and it's uh, Rainbow Islands. In excellent condition. I've got. I've yet to, to, to put this one on. Um, there we go. Because I was going to do a, a, a video yesterday, but uh, it's my brother's birthday on Friday, so uh, yeah, a little bit worse for wear. Um, so that, that's the first one from Aaron, and then the, the second one I sent through. And I've never played this one. Obviously, I played uh, Rainbow Islands, um, not on the Master System though. Oh, um, but this one I've never played. Um, I don't even know what type of game it is. I'm just, oh, it's a platformer. Okay, but anyway, it's Psychic World. Yeah, again, superb condition. So them two are from Aaron. Very very tough to get them two. Not overly um, difficult, but um, you know somewhat sought after, especially Rainbow Islands. Okay, sticking with the mass system theme. A um, couple of packages from the old uh, the old flea bait. Um, again, I want to say two of these are probably you know sort of more difficult to, to get hold of, and the others are just kind of fillers. Um, so yeah, I mean, first one is uh, good condition. I think this, I think this is the last of um, these games that I need. Um, last of the golf games. This world class leaderboard. Again, it's not you know two a penny on eBay, but it's one of them ones that you just need to to pick up. Excellent condition. You know, instructions, etc. Cart's nice and clean. So there we go. Yeah, so I th I th I'm pretty sure that's all the golf games now. Um, I've said it before, golf is in really my thing, but they're quite enjoyable on, on, the, on the consoles. Um, this next one, uh, I think some same people who did... Um, what was it, the other... Uh, so yeah, the other game, there's like a games collection. The first one I picked up was Casino Games. This one's Parlour Games. It's, it's, it's an un uncommon game, I think they call it, on the, on, on the retro collecting. So you've got like uh, billiards, darts, or world bingo. 
Mm. I played the billiards. That's quite quite enjoyable. It's a bit like a side pocket. Um, again, very good condition. Not you know, no issues there. It's all complete. So I've got to have a go at the darts. I don't think it's going to have a patch on the the Wii Sports 2 darts though. But nonetheless, um, next up, I picked up uh, Willed Games. All boxed and complete. Uh, I, I put this on earlier. It's quite quite good actually. Um, you've got four, four a uh, couple of events. I think it's only four. Yeah. Um, so you've got to do barrel jumping, um, log rolling, um, caber toss, and uh, the rodeo. And uh, I mean, I didn't bother reading the instructions. <laughs> I didn't have a clue what I was fucking doing. But uh, no, it was quite enjoyable. I, I, I thought there were more than four events, though, so that's, that's, that's a bit shit kind of thing. But yeah, that was, yeah, enjoyable, enjoyable enough game, I think. Yeah, by Epics. I don't think they released too many games on, on the Mass System. And then the last one I've picked up for the for the Mass System, anyway, is um, it's a sequel to to a game we've already got, and it's Truck Rock Two, Son of Chuck. Again, like I said, I've put this on earlier. I'm going to, I'm going to play a bit. Very good condition. And weirdly enough, and I don't know how many of these carts must have done it, but if you look at the cartridge there, they actually stamped the cartridge. So, quite unusual. Um, I think this, judging by the graphics, which I must admit are pretty impressive for the mass system, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this was towards the end of its life. I'm starting to look now. Yeah, 1993. If you, I think I looked on on the World Games one, uh, and it's 1984. So there's nearly 10 years between these two games, and that's quite impressive for a system, isn't it? If you think about it, especially for an 8-bit one where, you know, where the technology was really flying through. So yeah, 1984, 90, 90, uh, 1993. I thought this was a newer game because you can just tell of the you know, um, sprites. You know, big surprise, very good gameplay actually. Uh, I might do a gameplay video on that. Um, you know, nice and loose and stuff. Um, yeah, enjoyable, enjoyable game. Um, so that's kind of the um, the trades and then the package from eBay. The next lot is, is what I've picked up you know, on my travels. And a couple of uh, little Game Boy games and stuff from um, one of the crack, crack converters. <laughs> First one was a uh, Game Boy Advance game, and I've got the third one of this, I think, or the second one, I can't remember. But it's Sonic Advance, and that's 49p or something. And then the next two are two colour Game Boy games, um, both like Warner Brothers. So, the first one is Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle 4, and Tweety's High Flying Adventure. And I think they were 49p as well, or something like that. Well, these are 49p. In Sonic was 75p, you know, pence anyway. Um, so yeah, there's them too. Um, right, do it this way because they're all the same ones. Um, again, these are all like uh, um, crack generators, crack converters, whatever you want to call it. So I picked this up 49p and it is The Lost World, Jurassic Park. Not sure how it plays. Looks quite good actually. Hunt or be hunted. All right, so control different five different characters. It's T Rex. So yeah, forty nine p. Not bad. Um, the next one I picked up. Now I don't know where I've seen this. Someone did a gameplay video on it, I think. Um, it's on the PlayStation One. It's called Chase the Express. Now I wouldn't have known anything about, it, but it, I. I I don't know why I remember the name, and I can't remember who's done the who's done the, the gameplay video. But this is a charity shop. It's a 99p. So yeah, I can't remember. Is it escaping me now? But I'm pretty sure someone's done a gameplay video on that. Not recently, but a while back. Um, and then last, the last one I picked up for 10p from the uh, crack converters. Someone asked me, and I can't remember who it is now, and I'm too lazy to go through the, the comments. But someone has seen this, I've, I actually own this game, and it's Rugrats to Search for Reptar. Okay. Someone put a comment on um, 
my video, um, my game room tour, and I think they're after it. So whoever it was, give us a bow because obviously I, I did say that I'd, I'd let you know when I got another copy. So I've got another copy. Um, yeah, it's all complete. So there we go. Um, this one I picked up from a charity shop, and then realised I freaking got it. Um, but it's Madden '94 on the Mega Drive. Uh, it's actually John Madden, the first one that I need now. Nine, no, 91. I've got 92, 93, 94. So it's nine. John Madden Football and John Madden Football 91. So I don't know if, if anyone needs a copy of John Madden 94. It's all complete. There. And the other one I picked up, which I do need, I know I need it. Is um, Premier Manager. They say it's not to shout out about, but it's just another one to, to, uh, to tick off the list. Uh, it says 95p, and the guy only charged me 50p, so I weren't going to argue. So there's them two. That's all of the sort of 16 um, bit stuff. Next couple of games, a couple of PS2 ones, not, not many this, this week. Um, Indiana Jones Emperor's 2. I actually paid three quid for this, surprisingly for me. Um, I hadn't seen it in the shops before, and I'm pretty sure a few people commented that it's meant to be quite a good game. Um, so I thought for that price I'd grab it, and it's all complete. The manual looks a little bit battered, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I do like Indiana Jones, so yeah, I thought I'd take that. And then this one, I'm pretty sure, is a half decent game, uh, and it's Fantavision. And again, that's from Crack Converters, that's at 99p. And it's complete. So it's. It looks like a res type game. Uh, I don't know what, maybe like. Missile Command, I don't know. Ooh, very unusual. But yeah. Blast that, and then we, weirdly enough, as it always happens, as it always is, um, I picked up another copy of Silent Hill 3. And this one's only one ninety nine for a charity shop. So go figure. That's complete, it's all there. So I've got another copy of Silent Hill 3 if, if anyone's interested. PM me, do a trade to talk some out. Now, the next lot of games, um, I've been saying since I started doing this, oh, I'm not going to collect for this, I don't collect for it, etc. Et it's the Xbox, okay? Now, um, obviously they're all 49p because they're all from Game Station. Well, most of them are anyway. Um, but what, I can't remember who it was now, uh, I think it might have been Richard, UK Retro Game Addict. He, he basically, I don't know why I forgot or I just didn't think of it, and obviously he mentioned in one of his videos about the backwards compatibility on the 360, um, which also I do own, and I do own the old Xbox, but it's up in the cupboard and it's just too big and horrible and it's, it fucking takes up half the half the space. So that's why I just never bothered to collect for it mainly. Um, but obviously he mentioned about the backwards compatibility, or that reminded me about the backwards compatibility on the 360, and I thought for 49p, even if I just get the backwards compatibility ones or at least some of the better ones from that list. Why not? You know, you've got nothing to lose. So that's kind of what I'm going to do, I think. Um, I don't know if I've managed to get the whole set. I think you know, there's a couple of 180 or something like that, I think, that, that backwards compatibility. All varying degrees of compatibility from what I can gather as well. Some glitch and this, that and the other. But, uh, yeah, so for 40, 49p-ish per game, why not? Why not? It'd be a shame not to. So, um, now, the, what the real kicker is, I've had some of them games on that list before, you know, moved them on and stuff, and I've had these two games and in hell of a lot better condition, um, but with obviously Game Station winding it all up, I, I figured, chance I'm not going to drop on these two again, so I thought I'd grab them while I was there, and the, the two games from, from um, Crack Converters again, 99p, uh, you know, they don't need any introduction really, but it's Halo 1 and 2. Um, not in the, the, the greatest of Nick, admittedly, but uh, yeah, 
and shoot these, these shoot games ain't really my thing. And to be honest, I've played Halo, I've never completed any of them. You know, I'm not very good at them type of games because I'm just not dexterous enough with, with, with my thumbs. Um, I end up, you know, spinning around shooting and everything. But I'm going to give it a blast anyway. So I've got them two, they're, they're a, um, let's say, 99p. Uh, and the next lot, actually, tell a lie, this one isn't. I picked this up from Crack. crack uh, Game Station, 49p. This is before I, I printed off the, the compatibility list, and I thought, well, I'm not going to leave it there anyway, not for 49p, but it, it's not on the list, so it doesn't play on the 360. Um, and it's Capcom Fighting Jam. And that's complete, so yeah, fortunately, I can't play this on the 360. So I'll get that one out of the way now whilst I'm just looking down this. So the next one, I'm, uh, I've, I've checked these, and they are compatible um, across there, so I'll, I'll just rattle them off, I'm not going to talk about them too much. Um, Ghost Recon 2, they're all complete. Manhunt, Max Payne, I remember playing Max Payne on the PC. Punisher, Rainbow Six Three, um, Conflict Desert Storm, Uh, Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow. Genma Omnimusha. I think I've got some on the PS2. Uh, X-Men 2 Wolverine's Revenge. NBA 2002 Inside Drive. Outlaw Volleyball. Crimson Skies, High Road to Revenge. That's quite good actually. Awesome game. Awesome the Dreamcast. Dead or Alive 3. Ooh. Split the Sail Chaos Theory. Split the Sail Pandora Tomorrow. I've already got that one. God, is that really bloody split the sound game? I can't remember. Well, I've got double there. So I've got two Pandora Tomorrows. Oh well, never mind. Anyone want a Pandora Tomorrow? Give me a shout. Uh, actually, quite chuffed to, to pick this one up. Uh, again, another awesome, awesome series. Soul Calibur 2. Was this the one that had. No, it was like Soul Calibur 3 that had the unlockable special characters, weren't it? Something like that. And then I've picked up, yeah, again I've duplicated here, but one's the like the classics version and one's the normal, uh, just the normal Splinter Cell. So I've got a classics Splinter Cell if anyone needs needs one. So that's it, guys. I have got um, a couple of packages that are due through, um, and as it's always bloody Mr. Warm Wear Man, so I've got the card too, so I can't get them till uh, Monday. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to get some game under the gameplay or two videos done. Maybe off the, uh, you know, that Chuck Rock Two perhaps, um, and or some of the other stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll see. See what I can, uh, see what I fancy playing. So thanks for watching, guys. And um, yeah, big shout out to everyone. You know, thanks for all the subscriptions and stuff. You know, it's really appreciated. And uh, we'll catch you next time, YouTube. Take it easy. Bye.